Hey, this is Jessica, and I'm here with Bluey. And there he is. He's doing well. Hasn't changed much. He swims around a lot. But you still, I still see him swimming around at the bottom. So I don't think he is quite strong. I don't know if he's ever going to be as strong as uh, my other bet is. But other than that, he seems fine. And I wanted to talk today about um, heaters and how they are very important to a betta and for that matter any tropical fish really. If you have a fish that's tropical or a betta, you need a heater. It is a need. Um, these are the ones that I have. This is the Tetra preset heater. This one is 100 watts. The other one in the 10, my other 10 gallons, 100 watts, and the one in my two in my each five gallon are 50 watts. Um, I could have used 50 watts in the 10 gallons, but I didn't. You can also use just a 25 watt in a five gallon. They don't have that. The 50 watts the smallest one they had. So anyways, um, that is require at least a temperature of 78, which is what all my tanks are at. I don't think you can see that. But that's what this is preset to, 78. It is better to have one that's adjustable. Because then you can um, adjust it to 80 if you wanted. Or even higher. Because there is diseases like ick that can be cured without medication and just salt and turning up the heat. With ick, what you'd usually do is turn it up to like 82 if you know your fish can stand that much heat. And um, salt the tank and the heat uh, speeds up the life cycle of the ick and usually that will cure it and then if you know it doesn't work go for the meds at that point and I'm sure I think there's other illnesses that you can turn up the heat with that will help so it is good to have preset ones and they'll have like a knob on them and you can adjust them it is also important to have a thermometer to make sure your heater is working correctly because you don't want it to be overheating or underheating so all your tanks should have a thermometer and a heater. Even Q, um, quarantine tanks, QT tanks, should have a heater. That's appropriate for their size. I know it's harder for QT tanks if they're really small. That's why you shouldn't use a really, really small QT tank. It should be at least one gallon, a little bit bigger. I've heard of people using 25 watt heaters in like a 2.5 gallon and worked out fine. They have a thermometer, it didn't overheat. Um, you can use smaller heaters if you're able to find one that's like a 10 watt they do make them but sometimes they're harder to find that's why I don't that's why all my heaters are preset it's, I got them at Walmart and that's all they had and my local fish store carries like really high wattage their lowest wattage is also 50 and it goes up from there and they're more expensive I can um, order them from Big Al's now but I already have heaters so I don't know maybe I'll eventually switch them over like one by one because they're like 25 bucks <laughs> if you want to get a good one they're usually at least 20 especially the ones that are um, not preset the ones you can actually adjust there is a Theo Hydor mini heater that you can get that a lot of people get 25 watt one is really good for uh, five gallon tanks or a, sm a little bit smaller and then they have you know 50 watt and higher than that. Uh, I'll show you the heater that I have in my, uh, I use for my QT tank. I'll show you marble while I'm at it. That's about it. There's the QT tank. This one's bigger than my old one, as you, as people would have heard from my other videos. We ended up buying this, which is actually called uh, the uh, Crabworks Funarium, but it holds 3.5 gallons. I kind of looked it up online and somebody said it holds 3.5. That's marble. He's so pretty. He's like silver body and red fins, crown tail. And that heater right there is a marina heater. It is only 8 watts. It doesn't heat this tank up too well. This one doesn't have a thermometer because I'm ran out of them. But the thermometer for my uh, fiance, because he has the same tank, he has the same heater. I gave him the thermometer and it's saying it's holding right around 80 but that's with both of we've covered both of them up 
just halfway like this. We love this open for fresh air. But that's because without this being covered, it was dropping down to around 77. Because I don't think this 8 watt can is good for a 3 gallon. It is good for a 1.5. My old container that I had blue in, which is right over here. This thing. This is from Pinplax. I got this at Walmart. It's the only size they had, that's why it's the size. You can see the difference. Uh, so this one's actually a lot thinner if you look at the width. This one's way wider. That one's really thin. But yeah, this is like 1.5, I think. And it that little heater was keeping it at 80, no problem, without it being covered. So these little, little heaters are from Marina. Um, I paid like 15 bucks for them. Probably get them cheaper in the States. They usually just constantly heat, like this light always stays on. And my fiance's indicator light seems to be broken, but it's working or there wouldn't be any heat in the tank. And the thermometer says it's at right temperature, so obviously it's working. Just his light's not working, so whatever. They're not the best heater. I don't suggest you have these permanently. Like this is like a queue, like a quarantine setup. Even if my fiance keeps his bed in this, because this you can keep permanently, it's 3.5 yeah, 3 gallons. Um, we're gonna get a better heater. We're probably gonna get one of the, um, probably gonna order the Hydro, Theo, Theo Hydro, whatever it's called, Hydor, 25 watt, because you don't want anything bigger than 25 watt for the small, but at least it's, adjust it's adjustable. But yeah, these heaters are just for temp, I wouldn't keep it in. They're actually marketed for, like, those stupid half-gallon little tanks, the Beta, the, it actually says on the heater, Beta heater. Uh, so I wouldn't suggest you should never have a half gallon tank. It should be at least one gallon, if not bigger. Usually the min, the minimum, without getting people yelling at you, is like 2.5 gallons. So, so that's that heater. Um, this, these ones, these little heaters, you have to be careful with because usually they, they're not like they they are preset, but they're not. They'll just what they do is they raise the um, heat couple of degrees over room temperature. I've heard people saying that they've had trouble with these heaters. I've had no problem with keeping at least 80. The highest it goes is 80, which isn't bad. Not for a better. And speaking of um, like what your local fish store and stuff say, I know when I first got into fish, they were showing me tropical fish and then um, they were like, oh, but these ones can, like, you know, can stay in cold water. Yes, just because they can stay in cold water doesn't mean you should put them in cold water. You know, bettas can live in cold water, too, but they're not going to live long. And what happens is cold water slows down their metabolism. So if your bed is not moving around a lot, and he's not really eating a lot, and he's lethargic, that can be just based on his water being too cold for him. You need at least 78. Some people say 76, but I'd rather have it. 78 is better. 78 is way better to have it. You can have it at 80, that's no problem. You don't want it too hot. I wouldn't go over 80 unless you're treating for something. But 78 is usually the sweet spot. But yeah, it's much better for their metabolism, their energy, if you want to have your fish longer. And they're not that expensive. If you've got a big enough setup, you know, if you have too small of a setup then for a heater, then you that's one of the signs that you should probably upgrade your setup anyways. Even if you're, let's say, breeding bettas and you have a whole bunch of jars that are like one gallon and you don't want to put a heater in them because they're like jars or whatever, uh, what you can do, which uh, is actually a really good idea, is you can place all the jars into big, into like a big tub of water and put the heater in that tub so that each jar is sitting in water that's being heated because then that uh, temperature in the jar will go through um, it is cleaning day for this tank some poos down there that's why I kept this bare bottom so I can suck that up the airline tubing 
every second day this gets a water change of more than 50% and then once a week we'll be scrubbing it out completely kind of a pain in the butt that's why I said this is not his permanent home he's gonna be with Bleary once I divide it and my fiancés will hopefully well he's if we keep it in a container like this we're gonna get a little uh, Tom Aquatics internal filter but yeah other than that I just wanted to talk about heaters and why they're important because I see this all the time on forums they'll be like you know why is my fish sick why is my fish this and usually the first things they get told is if they don't have a heater already is to get a heater because having the water too cold can make your betta more susceptible to uh, getting sick and diseases you want them warm, they are tropical, they're from places that are warm I know they're from Thailand, obviously it's really warm water there there's the other heater oh, that one uh, is not suctioned on I don't know how that happened maybe Snowy was playing with it yeah, actually, you know, he's the only one that actually sees his reflection in the heater and will, like, headbutt the heater. It's kind of funny. So, I doubt he headbutted it off, though. I don't know how that happened. But yeah, that's the 50-watt uh, one from uh, Tetra. Um, I've heard a lot of complaints about these, that they don't work. Mine all work. All my tanks are steady at 78. It just sucks I don't have any control over it. But at least they keep their heat. So I wouldn't say this is the bad heater. But they are cheap. They're the cheapest ones, so. But if you want a better heater, definitely get an adjustable one. So very snowy. And I'll show you quickly my fiance's, because he's really pretty. He's a marble. And we've ended up naming him Crute, which is a French word. I'm not going to tell you what it means, you can guess. <laughs> I don't know if his fin's getting any better or worse. I think it stayed the same. Yeah, I'd like to see if maybe his color will change. Oh, he's flaring. <laughs> he's very pretty. And there's his tank, he's got plants. Which will help. So yeah, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about anything, haters, or anything else, go ahead and ask. Thanks for watching. And I will uh, see you guys later, I guess. Bye-bye.